what I'm spam fam. So croaky, sorry. <laughs> Here we go, create this book. She's getting that thick already. It's only episode 18. <laughs> but we are going to start off with a decent one. Create a border. Now, in the last one, I created a Tetris border, which turned out really nicely. I liked that one. Wouldn't really say it was a border, but I called it a border, so it was. <laughs> Going a little simpler on this one, I think. But hopefully more effective. So I kind of stuck with the whole game thing and I had the idea of Snake. And then I came up with this creation and I like it, but I have some difficulties drawing the head. I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. Just give me a second. <laughs> But so this snake is going like in and like under and over and through and round this page, essentially. My original idea was Cray doing this, but I thought that might just be a little bit weird. That was me. I made I made the head bigger. That was my <laughs> I made the head bigger. <laughs> I zoomed in a little bit. <laughs> now for the colouring. I am going for a gradient type thing throughout this snake, so it is going to be galaxy-esque. <laughs> I did think about making a spam snake. Don't think it didn't cross my mind, but. Pretty simple. <laughs> it was a pretty simple design and it was fun to do. And because I've been poorly a lot lately, um, it was nice to have a nice simple, just, I got to colour. Which was nice. So I think that really adds something, putting that black in there to show that it was going like around the paper or coming out from under the paper. So that's it pretty much. Like I just gotta add some shading and we're done. Don't worry, Cray's coming. He's coming. He'll be here. He's hiding from the snake. 
So I added some shading, I gave it a shadow as well to add a little bit more detail to the page. I do like this one. Disclaimer here, I forgot to add the galaxy part to the sneak, but I do go back and do it in like once I remember. <laughs> I think I finished the other prompt first and then when I look at that one I'm like oh <laughs> I forgot to add it moron so we're moving on and we are going to create patterns I hate this page I don't like patterns I'm not a patterny person So, last time I think I made like a quilt with some patterns on it, which, boring. So I'm going to try something different. It's technically a pattern, I guess, because I'm going for like an abstracty type thing. All I can say is I was full of cold when I did this and my brain came out with this and I don't know whether you're gonna like it or not <laughs> but this is Cray he's in a abstract form I guess he looks more robotic than anything but I struggle to My, my brain was going, this isn't a pattern, this isn't a pattern, but I guess technically it is. I don't, I don't know whether it falls in that category, but I guess you'll have to see the end of it to decide that one. But I went full on abstract with this weird little piece. <laughs> So my thinking was that I wanted Cray to be the main point and this was it was like radiating from him all this shapes and patterns and doodads and whatever. I've drawn it, I've lined it. I'm not loving it. Let's see if I can save it with some colouring. It's just a little wackadoodle. <laughs> it's the best word that I can use to describe the situation. It's a little out there and not normal style for me. And like I said, don't know whether it really falls into the pattern category. But I do break the rules sometimes, so... It's there-ish. <laughs> Again, this is a very colour-based video, I guess, because this takes me time. <gasps> it takes me time to colour this in. A lot of tiny space with gradients 
and trying to balance the the piece out so that it's not too cold on one side or too warm on the other. It's like a lot of brain process went into it, but I don't actually remember making it because I was sick. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> So I think that's about it for the blue, really, or the blue-green-ish. Let's move on to these. We're going to go red, orange, and yellow now. Gradient. So we've done a cool, we're doing a warm now. Again, I'm trying to balance the colours so that it's not too heavy on one side. Trying to decide what went where was probably the hardest part. <laughs> That's one thing I do remember is struggling with what goes where. So I moved on to this dark orange slash red, kind of. But it's starting to feel like it's coming together slightly. It's growing on me, it's growing on me. I vaguely remember this. I start panicking because I've ran out of colours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I was like, I've done <laughs> red, orange, yellow. I've technically done a green, blue. So I was like, uh, what do I do? <laughs> but it's fine. I do like the concept of this, where the it's radiating from Cray. And if you see this circle that I'm colouring around now, it's like a deconstructed Cray's face. Which, I gotta go walk the doggy. So, I'm gonna go walk the doggy. And then I'll come back to this tomorrow because my brain's dead. Hello! Next day. Back to it. It's clearly warmer today as well because I haven't got my second jumper on. If that or my fever. <laughs> So 
So I'm bringing in some darker colours. And some fleshy colours. Just trying to balance the thing out and really thinking about where these colours are sitting. Like, because I want them to, I don't want it to be cohesive. I don't want them to be next to each other and be like, oh, you fit together. I want them to be like, you're weird, you shouldn't be here, but it kind of works. That's the theory that I was going with. <laughs> but we'll see. This thing is taking time to colour. But it was nice to put effort into this. Like I said, not remembering to make it, but... <laughs> This is where I've remembered the galaxy. So this is the finish prompt, border prompt part of <laughs> the other one. When I remembered to put the galaxy in. I told you, I had, I was ill and I had like brain fog. I've been very, very poorly. But yes, this is the final pattern piece, kind of. But yeah, I like it in the end. I really do. I, I think it works somewhat. I, again, pattern? Mm, don't know. But I really like it. I like it's different. And I'm glad I took the time to do all the colouring and whatever. I would say that being poorly is the key to producing things like this, but I don't want to be poorly. <laughs> but I love that I kept cray white with a tiny little bit of shading. I think it just adds that a little extra and he's definitely, your know, eyes drawn to obviously the white space. And yeah, you'll have to let me know what you think down below. It's a little strange. But yeah, let me know what you think down below. While you're there, please do hit that like button. And obviously hit that subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.